Alright, once again, trying to film this video, and my phone keeps not recording. I'm not really sure what the heck is going on, but we're going to try to get this done. So, this video is like a pet store haul. I got this all from, I got all of this from PetSmart. This came from Walmart. Um, but I just thought I'd share with you some of the things I got and explain why I got them. First and foremost is this dude here. Just a big blue glittery igloo. It was $6.99. I got this for my solo rat because he doesn't have anything that's large to sleep in. He just has the licks of igloos and they're kind of narrow. The next thing is a scrubber for barred cages. This was actually on 50% off clearance and it came to a total of like a dollar and 33 cents so you know that's not bad at all and it is all of them things I do plan on doing a cage cleaning video explaining like how to deep clean a cage the next thing I got is not for the for, for the rats so much as the room I don't put this on them but it's a flea and tick spray by ultra care uh, it was the most expensive thing I bought besides the vacuum thing, and it was $8.29. That was all on the house, like, cage product things. These are the All Living Things Crunchable Carrot Shapes Chews. They are made from all natural material. They're not flavored like the, um snack shacks and things are so they're just like wood and wood and I'm not sure what that is wood and pumice or something not pumice uh what you call it you know what I mean loofah loofah uh these are carrots oh, okay $1.99 I got two. They kind of needed some extra chewy treats. I also got the crunchable apple shaped chews. Same pot, same idea. They're not flavored. They're just shaped like food. They were also $1.99. I got the Simple Rewards Strawberry and the Simple Rewards Banana. These are the freeze dried fruit. So it's a solid fruit. These were... How much were these? Six forty-nine. Yeah. Right? Oh. Oh, three fifty-nine. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to read. Anyway, anyway, they were, they were either three forty nine. Yeah, that has to be it. Did she not charge me for something? Oh no, three sixty nine, I believe. Uh, stupid thing, focus. Anyway. I got those. They like the banana ones and trying to get them to like the strawberry ones because I buy them. Um, also the All Living Things Yummy Drop Treats. These are like yogurt drops or something like that. And they are berry flavored. They were $2.59? Yeah, $2.59. These are kind of the, they're not PetSmart brand, but they are sold exclusively at PetSmart, and they are meatballs, and my rats like these for just a little bit of a treat, and they're really cheap, it's three for, three for five dollars, I've already opened another one, and it's been put in their packaging, but I just thought I'd show you that, uh, three forty nine, I mean three for five. 
and they like those. And it's just basically, I always check the ingredients. It's basically chicken and flour and fibers and things like that. So it's not bad for them. The next things I got were the Vitacraft, Vitacraft Crunch Sticks. They absolutely love these things. And these are the whole grain and honey. And then this one is the wild berry and honey. And these say for rabbits and for guinea pigs, but these are perfectly fine and safe for rats. They don't have any bad ingredients in them. No alfalfa meal, anything like that. Now this next one that I bought is something I've never bought before. I've never bought anything from this line. But this is the National Geographic's Trail Mix. And it says rabbit, chinchilla, and guinea pig, but it has rat safe ingredients in there. Now there's certain things that I might pull out like the, um, we call them the, you know, blueberries or the raspberries, but they have that in their regular mix all the time, so it's not going to be a problem. But yeah, that's that. It almost like it has cranberries and stuff in it as well. They're going to like that. It's got a big chunk of apple, dried apple in there. They like things like that. Now this next thing is something also new to me. It is Pet Botanics Mini Training Reward. It's chicken flavor. And it, when I was in the store, it looked completely fine. I checked out all the ingredients and everything. And autofocus. There we go. It seemed perfectly fine. It's, it's, um, basically it's a fat and vegetable based thing it is rather high and you know moisture but that's not really big of a problem I'm only gonna giving like one every so often they don't get a ton of treats anyway now the next thing I got is kind of like genius I guess and it is autofocus this black and decker lithium ion like a lithium batteried powder powered handheld vacuum and i got it specifically for daily cleaning of the cage it comes with just a regular charger uh, well not a regular charger it comes with like a special charger made for just for this that I have to keep up with because Lord knows I'm going to lose it if I don't keep up with it. But it's just a washable filter and a washable container that just pops off of here. I can't get it to come off easily. But basically it's just a vacuum for their cage. And I have used it quite a bit already. I like it for the tray that they have their food on and the bottom around my solo rat's cage because he is not potty trained in the slightest. I've, I've, I've tried all I can. He just won't use a freaking litter box to save his life. And I just deal with it. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. As long as I clean it up, it doesn't bother me. But that's just my little haul. This here, in case you're interested, is pretty cheap. It's only $15, $16 at Walmart, and it's pretty powerful. Let's see. And you see I have a white bedspread, and here I am going to pour some stuff on it. Let's see. Come on. I got a little... Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm trying. Okay. There's some spilled food, kind of like how they do it in the in their cage, just bigger pieces. And you just press the button, and it. I like it because it's auto shut off. If you're not pressing the button. It's not going to go. So you're not going to end up sucking up little ratty tails or faces. 
because as soon as you let go of the button, say you're like, oops, you pull it off, it stops. But anyway, let's just do a little demonstration of this. And then boom, all of it's tucked up in here. And thick and span. And it's pretty quiet to me. So it's not scary to my boys. But yeah. That's just like amazing. And it's so cheap that if I need to, I can buy some buy another. And not have to really, you know, break the bank buying another. But that's just the little haul that I've purchased in the past two days. Just some treats, a little house, and this is pretty awesome. I highly recommend it. If you use your regular vacuum already, that's fine. But if you don't, I and you don't want to, I highly recommend getting one of these. It's pretty great. Now it does not come with a hanging rack, so it does have to sit, but I just kind of tuck it underneath their cage, and then just pull it out whenever I need to like vacuum up crumbs or little stray poops and things like that. But hopefully this is like a pretty good quality video, and I'm not just like shimmy shaking all around because of my phone. There we go. I hope you enjoyed the video and y'all have a good night.